Welcome everybody to Senior Yoga and Weight Training. For this class, you'll need a yoga mask, water bottles, or any kind of cans will do. Or you can do it without any weights at all. So feet are hip distance apart. Knees want to be slightly bent so you have a stable platform. Inhale your arms up. Arms out, exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. This time you're inhaling up, arch back so you're looking up at the ceiling. Exhale forward. Inhale up and arch back. Exhale forward. Inhale, stretching straight up, as tall as you can be. Exhale your arms down. Inhaling left. And exhaling right. Last inhale. Exhale, right hand, right leg, and stretch. Exhale down, inhale up, lengthen and stretch. Exhale down, feet hip distance apart. Turn your hands inside out and up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, left. Inhale, up. Elongate your spine. Exhale, right. Inhale, up. Arch back. Straighten up. Hinge forward. Your hands are down, release them. Bend your knees slightly. Lower arms behind your lower legs. Gently stretch your hips and legs up towards the seat. Lift your hands, inhale, and slowly roll up. Arms overhead and stretch. Exhale your arms down. Triangle pose, feet of three, three and a half feet apart. Left foot to the side, right angles in 30 degrees. Bring your arms up to parallel. Stretch out to the side and down. Fingers to the ceiling, palm forward. And looking up towards your hand. As you exhale, switch your feet, stretch out, and down. Inhale, coming up. As you exhale, switch your feet. Bend your left leg 90 degrees. Lengthen your arms, you're looking out over your left hand. Hand on leg, left towards the ceiling. Arms are back at parallel. Left hand, left leg, right to the ceiling. Arms are parallel. Straighten your legs, switch your feet. Bend your right leg. Left leg, right to the ceiling. Arms are parallel. Right hand, right leg, left to the ceiling. Arms come back to parallel. Straighten your leg, feet are forward, lower your arms. Left foot to the side, right to the front. Bring your arms up to parallel and turn. Arms overhead, palms are together. Bend your left leg and go back towards your hand. Lower your gaze, straighten your leg and come 
to a forward bend. Come back up into extended prayer pose. Switch your feet, face the opposite side of you. And your right leg and look up. Your gaze, straighten your leg, fall your pen. Come back up into extended prayer pose. Face your feet forward. Bring your arms to parallel. Now your breast stroking right around to the back. Clasp your hands together, lift them up, lift them. Tuck your chin, hinging forward. Lower your arms, release your hands, hands on your lower legs or your ankles. Gently pull your upper body towards your legs. side of the room. Then your left leg, arms come up to pull your bow back. Pull your right arm back. Key here is to turn so your chest is facing towards me. That way you get a good chest expansion. Look out over your left hand. Deep breathing. Exhale your arms down, change your side. Turn your right leg, and turn your face to the side, arms come up. Pull your left arm back, chest is facing forward. Look out over your right hand. Overhead, exhale into a chair position. Point you there, arms come up to 60 degrees for length. Inhale, coming up, stretch. Exhale, your arms down. We we'll use our weights. You don't have weights. Hand goods or small bottles of water can work just as well. You want to be hip distance apart. Knees are slightly bent so you have a stable platform. Your weights are up so your upper arms are parallel to the floor. You're bringing your weights in, turning your wrists so your palms are facing you. Inhale out. Exhale, come back in. Make your arms, chest, and shoulders. And it is perfect to do this class without weights if you choose to. Now this time bring your weights together, pulse up. Three, two, and one. Place your weights on your shoulders. Back, palms up, little pulses, three, two, and one. 
Lift back on your legs for safety and come back up. Working on waistline. Come down to one side. Start at the top and then down to the other side. Facing forward, upright row, spreading my arm up to your shoulders, and bring it back down. Alternating arms. Sides. We're doing waistline one more time. Sitting in easy pose. What's our nickname for not for easy pose? Not so easy. Not so easy pose. If this is uncomfortable for you. You can use a pillow. Oh, what Carol uses is a gardening pad. Gardening pad. Gardening pad. I fall a lot sometimes. <laughs> so hands are right on your ankles. Inhale your chest up and out. Exhale, run your spine down. The lower spine. Key here is to keep your head steady, chin parallel to the floor. Working on spinal health, spinal strength, spinal flexibility. Posture also enhances the flow of cerebral spinal fluid through your spine and brain. Great for brain health. Now inhale up. Close your eyes, bend your breath, apply root block. You're contracting all the muscles of your lower pelvis like a Kegel exercise. All those muscles in and up and contract your abdominal muscles at the same time. And a strong core muscle group. Exhale, place your hands on your knees. Very gentle neck rolls, like you're tracing the face of the clock with your nose.
inhale up, keep your eyes closed, apply root block. Remember to contract your abdominal muscles at the same time. Now exhale. Last big breath in. And exhale. We're moving on to cobra. So you want to lay on your abdomen. Your arms are underneath your shoulders. Chin on your mat. Press your pelvis into your mat, and as you inhale, come up on your forearms for beginning cobra, on your hands for intermediate. Either way, you want to relax your shoulders, gently look up, deep breathing. Exhale, slowly lower yourself towards your mat. And your chin is on your mat, arms about your side. Press your pelvis into your mat, and as you inhale, raise your upper body, raise your arms, raise your legs. Open your chest by bringing your shoulder blades closer together. Lower your legs, lower your upper body. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Stretch up into what we call table. Now check your knees and feet here. Then we're going to be hip distance apart. We sit back and extend a child's pose and stretch. Come back up into table. Inhale, lower your spine, raise your head. Exhale, lower your spine, tuck your chin. Keep alternating between cat and cat. your left leg, right arm, contract your abdominal muscles, this posture is all about core strength and balance. Move your right hand to the floor, place your left leg over the right, toes on the floor. It's a very good stretch for IT band. leg and lower. Raise your right leg, raise your left arm. Move your left hand to the floor, right leg over the left. your right leg and roll it. Sit back and stretch. Come up into table. Again, check your knees and feet. They want to be hip distance apart. Tuck your toes. Come up into a triangle position. Move into downward dog, ears between your arms, heels pressing towards the floor. And you're going to bend your right knee slightly, straighten your left leg. Bend your left knee, straighten your right leg, and continue. This is called walking the dog. Straighten your legs, perfect your posture. 
and inhale. As you exhale, lower your knees, release your toes, sit back and stretch. Come up into table, sit forward. to the uh, strength. You're holding your weights in your hands, working on posture and upper back strength. Inhale, come back, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, come back. Come back, hold and squeeze. waist down. Everybody's favorite exercise, lean back. Over your toes, lift and lower your right leg. Now flex. Important exercise for your quadricep muscles, front of your thighs. So it helps keep you from falling should you lose your balance. And now keeping your foot flexed, you're going to take it just halfway out for five. You don't want to swing, you want to make your muscles work really hard. Last one, and lower. Left foot, point your toes to start, lift and lower. east-west. I stay focused at the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, raise your head and shoulders. Inhale, back down. Strong abdominal muscles. Make a healthy back. One head on the floor. Grab your weights with your hands. Supersetting the next three exercises for chest and arms and shoulders. Weights are right over your chest. Elbows slightly bent. Now pull your navel center back towards your spine. Keep your abs contracted so you're working them as well. Inhale your weights out to the side. Exhale, bring them back together. to the floor, shoulder width apart. Inhale your weights down towards your limbs. Exhale, push them back up.
your weights together. Inhale your weight slightly over your head. Exhale your weights back towards your lower body. Bring your weights down to body level so you can put them safely aside. Bring your knees up towards your chest, straighten your legs. You can slip your hands just underneath your bottom. That protects your lower back. Open your legs out into a V. Inhale, slowly bring your legs together. Inhale, them apart and continue. Together, bring your knees in towards your chest. Release your hands. Inhale, exhale, lift your bottom off the floor, inch or two. Control movement, working lower abs. on your mat, hip distance apart, grab a weight with your right hand, lift your arm up, raise your upper arm between your shoulders and your elbow, you want to keep that part of your arm straight up and down, lower the weight to the same shoulder, we're staying with the same shoulder, working triceps, remember to keep your abdominal muscles contracted. body level so you can switch it over to your left hand safely. Lift your left arm up, brace your upper arm. Again, same shoulder. body level, switch it over to your right hand, lift your right arm up, brace it, this time we're going over to the opposite shoulder. <laughs>
two. One more, now lower the weight to body level. Switch the weight over to your left hand, lift it up, raise your upper arm, opposite shoulder. towards your chest, straighten your legs, hands are behind your head, inhale, exhale, raise your head and shoulders, twist right, twist left, inhale back down and continue. your chest, hold on to your toes, you're bringing your right leg out to the side, key here is to keep this right leg straight so your hands can be on your toes, arch, ankle or calf, you can hold your calf this way or support your leg that way, whatever works for you. Center. Now extend your left leg out to the side. Remember to hold where you can keep your leg as straight as possible. Left leg back in and now extend both legs out into a V. Feet together, bring your lower legs together, arms come out to the sides, inhale, exhale your legs over to the right and hold. Back to the center and then over to the left. Give your legs a hug. One at a time, place your feet on the floor, feet are hip distance apart. Palms down by your sides, press your lower back into the floor. And as you inhale, raise hips and buttocks. Lower back, middle back, upper back off the floor. Clasp your hands underneath your back, bring your shoulder blades closer together. Now release your hands, slowly lower your back to the floor, one vertebra at a time. Reach your back is flat on your mat, bring your left foot and ankle up on your right thigh, bring your right knee towards your body. You can place your hand on your knee hamstring or leave it on the floor, whatever feels best for you. Lower your 
right foot to the floor, then your left. Right foot on your left thigh, bring your left knee towards your body. left foot to the floor and then your right. Raise your left leg. Hands behind your left knee. Now you want your elbows pointing east-west. So your arms are parallel to the floor. That allows you to work your arms and shoulders as well as your leg. Now point and flex your toes. Rotate your ankle. Reverse. Your toes, gently pull your leg towards your bottom. Release your left leg and raise your right leg, hands behind your right knee. Elbows east, west, point and flex your toes. Rotate your ankle. Reverse. Move your toes, gently pull your leg towards your body. Now bring your knee in towards your chest. Bring your left knee up. Hands can be underneath your knees. You can roll side to side, front to back, or whatever way feels right to you. You want to come up to a seated position. Single leg forward, dancer next. One leg is extended, other foot is in your inner thigh. Flex your foot. Inhale your arms up. Lengthen your spine. Turn towards your outstretched legs and hinge forward. Deep breathing. Inhale, and as you exhale, relax a little bit more into your posture. Exhale, relaxing more into your posture. Inhale, 
exhale, relaxing more into your posture. slowly coming up, thin your spine, exhale your arms down, the soles of your feet together, hands around your toes, gently bouncing your knees up and down in butterfly pose, now place your elbows on your shins, hinging forward, keeping your spine in alignment. Soles together, palms face up, they slip under your lower legs, on top of your feet, and hinge forward. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, legs out straight, now legs are wide. Hands are right in front of you to protect your lower back. And you're walking them down into a wide leg forward bend that's comfortable for you. Leg over the left, left arm hugs your knee, bring your arm up and around to the mat. Gently looking backwards, eyes closed. Just the posture for your digestive system, as well as your spine. Exhale, come back around and release. Sitting in easy palms. Clasp your hands together, turn them inside out and lengthen your spine, lengthen your arms. Eyes are closed. As you breathe deeply, your attention is to relax more with every breath. Press forward, lower spine rounds back, gently tuck your chin. Straighten your spine, bring your arms overhead, release your hands, cross your wrists, and bring your palms together.
reverse your hands. Inhale, exhale, lower your arms, and bring your hand to the opposite shoulder. Your hand is just above your elbow, and stretch. Straighten your arm and continue. Release other side, first position. Stroke right around to the back, clasp your hands behind you, lift them up, look up. Tuck your chin. Your arms release your hands, hands on your knees, inhale your right arm up, exhale it over to the side. Exhale down, inhale your left arm up, exhale it over to the side. Inhale up and exhale down, one hand on your upper chest, other one on your abdomen, eyes closed. As you exhale, contract your abdominal muscles, pull them back towards your spine. As you inhale, your abdomen relaxes and expands. Chest expands, shoulders rise again. Exhale, shoulders down, chest in. Last part of your exhale, contract your abdominal muscles. Continue breathing long and deep, expanding on the inhale. Reverse on the exhale. Relax your arms and hands, and we're done for today. Thank you. Yeah, thank you all. You did great.